Hello, welcome to the stream. Uh, go ahead and get airborne. Getting airborne a little bit late tonight, but uh, we are uh, off the coast of uh, Limnos in the Mediterranean tonight for a change. Which has the same island from Arma 3, if anyone plays that game. Or it's uh, it's called Altus in Arma 3, but uh, in real life and as well as in this simulator, it is uh, the island of Limnos. Uh, Mediterranean. Uh, without further ado, we are going to go ahead and get airborne. We do have one other player in here today that is uh, attack packed with. I'm not sure what uh, what he's doing on the way out to the ship. I saw him out there about 75 miles away. I think he's uh, doing his own thing out there. I do have uh, one SAM site set up on uh, what would be the island of. Uh, Oh, what up, Staples? Uh, Stratus in Arma 2. Or Arma 3, excuse me. Well, I made $300 today. Ah, how'd you make 300 bucks? I had weekend duty, so I get paid about 50 bucks an hour. Ah. I was there for six hours. <laughs> there we go. I actually pay you by the hour, that's funny. Yep. Contractor, dude. Uh, oh, okay. I'm actually about to do my time card right now. So I was about to say, uh, yeah, active duty military, we're always salary. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. A lot of people don't think of a job like that as being salary, but it is. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's definitely about salary. There is no clock in or out button. Oh my god, I can't no remember. No little Let's join the game. Yeah, uh, remember the terminal. There it is. <clears throat> so I came in at 9 today, and I left at 3.15. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, it's six and a quarter. Huh. Oops, not that one. Closer than I thought it was. Um, overtimes. And I get differential because I'm on swing shift until one day. I almost have enough overtime this week already to cover a day at work. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. <clears throat> so look at so as a close as a. BRS, give me any more information about that model yet? I think I left. Uh, not yet. Not that I've heard. But, yeah, there was another attack pack player in here. A little bit ago. Oh, here on the stream. I see that. Sup, ho. <laughs> uh, studio? All right. Smellville keeps on coming and going. Yeah. I hope they bring the fans in freaking uh Yes. Oh, what's that? I hope to bring the Phantom to PCS. Oh, the Phantom? Yeah. Oh, man. Did you hear, uh, supposedly, India uh, lost a F-16 to Pakistan, I think it was? Or, eh, I went, I went down it. Or maybe it was the other way around. 
Uh -oh. Well, one of them, one of them shot down one of their MiG 21s, and the other one shot down one of their F 16s and their MiG 21s. But they, the original shoot down was like over the Sam, I think, and like the other one. Or maybe I got it all mixed up or something, but maybe there was only one shoot down. But I, I know an F 16 got shot down by a MiG 21. Are you running Mavs again? Yeah, I got uh, two Laser Guy Mavericks, two Mark 82s, and two Harms. I'm about to use my uh, Harms to block up this knucklehead. <clears throat> there we go. Self defense mode or self protect? Uh, target opportunity, actually, right now. I got it on a uh, self protect override, though, so it won't go into that if it starts locking me up because I already got them locked on here. Have you started looking into uh, DCS a bit more because of C model? No, I'm sticking with what I'm what I'm good with. The modern. It's coming along, dude. Quite a bit. <laughs> I'm sure it is. But it's just that it's not it's not modern, you know. It's it's uh, that and it's uh, I mean, most of the missions that we fly wouldn't even fit on the same map, you know. It's, you're kind of stuck yeah, in one the, area. Yeah, the are kind of small. I, I like, like doing the cross-country stuff. Like there's, it's a lot more, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's, a, there's definitely a market for it and a crowd for it and everything. It's just not me, you know. And like, and don't get me wrong, someone who views this may very well, like this might be in the same kind of viewing category as that, you know, but I, it just wouldn't be 310 Magnum. Oh, you got fucked fire queue already? Dang. Yeah. Good. Yeah, well, that, it, he was locking me earlier. I had to climb away from him. The real one here is off to the east. And I need to... What the heck? Yeah, I'll just go into that. There we go. Excuse me. <laughs> the other name. It's gonna fly a big loop around this dude. I, know, I, I did my time in the Charlie Hornet, and I was with the Blues. <laughs> that's, that's really the, the only active Navy squadron that still flies, in my belief. And they're, they're going to be switching over to the Super Hornet pretty soon, anyways. I'm, I'm not sure what season this is going to be the first, but I did hear uh, it was, uh, they were going to be switching over to the Super Hornets. Mr. Costa has joined the game. But yeah, it, it's a totally different environment. You know, at DCS, I would be expecting a military jet almost every time someone joined the server, you know, and a dogfight to ensue. With this, it's it's really not that way. You know, you're, it's a lot less likely to happen. It's not that it's, it's outside the realm of possibilities, but it's just that it's, uh, it is what it is. It's a, you know, in, in real life, it's, it's unlikely that you would ever see a bandit, you know, or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's not the real one zero, Magnum. But yeah, it's like, it's a lot more likely, like when this guy comes in, he's probably gonna come in like a commercial or general aviation airplane, which is, Actually, what you're probably going to encounter a lot of times, even in a military jet. It, it, FSX is like the Walmart of flight sims. It, it doesn't yeah. do any particular thing, like outstandingly, you know, but it does a little bit of everything, you know, and you can get a pretty wide variety of aviation in it, you know, if that makes sense. And I, I think it's still it's probably the best thing for a Super Hornet simulator. <laughs> It, you know, like I well, can't think yeah. anything. Else. Well, P three D D four. Yeah, but definitely. then again, with that, it would be kind of the same like traffic problem. You know, like you're a lot less likely to have like randos joining your game. You know, I that don't game. know if you publish your stuff in your channel down below, like down to your Twitch. Stuff. Nah, I don't think a whole lot of people are going to be buying P three D. Just uh. <laughs> but it's 
it, dude, it's way better simulator than that. Oh, I, I'm sure it is. Like, it, it has a lot more capabilities built into it. I don't argue that, but it's just that it's not, it's not something that's like readily available on Steam. And not to mention, like, when usually I've noticed when a group goes to that, P3D inevitably gets updated, you know, and then some people are going to update sooner than others, you know, and as that happens, uh, 310 hits the target area. But um, as soon as that starts to happen, you know, it, it starts like almost draw a line in the group and then like everyone has to update at once. Some some of the kids, some of the younger people, some of the people in college aren't going to be able to update quite as fast, you know. Yeah. Like, sometimes like a lot of people don't understand that. Like luckily I have a job now where I can afford things, for, like just random things like that, you know. But I know five years ago, you know, like I can't just cough up $80 on a moment. No, that's a lot of times, you know. <laughs> or not not for something like that, at least, you know. Right, I'm gonna descend on in and see what I see. I'm turn on my lasers though. Well. Should actually be saving these. They're uh, a lot more expensive. I know I need to buy the, uh, the academic license, so, for, uh, tech mm -hmm. Oh, man, what the heck? Way off. The laser designator. I didn't see what the... 4.4 is the current measure, uh, current version. <clears throat> oh, 310 rifle. Zero hits in target area. Yeah, you see where a marker was originally? Like it was getting some radio return from the mountainside nearby. Mm. Might have been an old Shulka tactic from Vietnam. They would, uh, they would sometimes use, uh, like, if they had, like, a cliff face or something like that, they would sometimes illuminate that cliff face with a, with their radar to make the phantoms or whatever Reflected. else, like, the A6s yeah. waste their arms, and then they would shoot them into this cliff side, you know, and then they would, then they would start searching after they would get a few hits on the cliff side. But one of those arms definitely found them. 310 Magnum. No, you, excuse me, rifle. Are you doing uh, FSX at war with this or no? No, nah, this is a uh, default. That would cause too much lag for a uh, open server. Player? Yeah. At least on FSX. Yeah. <laughs> but then again, like it, it's like I said, I'm gonna take multiplayer's over AI traffic. So I always want the game to be most conducive to that. <clears throat> it's like it. it you know, it's not too hard for someone, like, right now, if someone was to tune into the stream, they could, like, spend, what is it, 15 or $20 on FSX, and that's it, and they could actually join into the server and actually, like, fly them. Like, Grand Owl of Fear is a weird job for them, and whatnot, you know, because if they're just running vanilla FSX and nothing else on it. Then. And then all, all your bombs would be gliders. Yeah, exactly. So they wouldn't they wouldn't see anything like what I'm seeing, but they could still join in like a 747 and see a Learjet come up and intercept them potentially. You know, I'm gonna try this on auto. I don't know. Should I'll do re one zero bombed on. So yeah, oh, I drag. Put, uh, Arma three, by the way. Oh, what's up? This computer. I put Arma three on this computer, by the way. Oh, nice. <coughs> so I can. I'll do re one zero around. hits the target so. area. If you want to do that. Yeah, I actually got a mission on there that I made. I need to go out to play it. I'll probably be seeing some of the, the add ons, though. <coughs> the mods that you have? Oh, yeah, I, I cut the mod list quite a bit. Mm -hmm. like it's, there's only like uh, five or six mods, and that's mostly just Ace and uh, Ace X and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I haven't used Ace in a while, so I might need some. Uh, yeah, there's a few settings you guys turn off and whatnot. 
three one zero. Bomb gone. I, I, I pickled that one pretty low on the plus side. We'll see if I got any secondaries down there. Not cliff side, but hillside. But yeah, there's nothing down there. Oh, I do still see a launcher though. Yeah, I can see him. You're not having very good quality on your video, just for a heads up. Very good quality it's, on it's the very, video? Yeah, it's pretty pixelated. Ah, oh, dang. Like, the jet itself looks pretty good. Okay, I gotta move my car, I'll be right back. Like, are you talking about the webcam? No, no, you're fine. I'm saying the game. Huh. <coughs> Take a look at that. Alright, I'll be right back. Roger. Alright, you got the run on this. Hiding in the trees, though. Got that one. Yep. Alright, I think we got them all. Let's take a look here. Yep, it is fully destroyed. Got just over uh, half of our gun.
Might be a helicopter, judging by that slow speed. He is pretty high though for a helicopter. In this sim, not not for in real life, but a lot of people who are getting the helicopters just tend to stay really close to the airport and really low. But we're about to get a visual here at 10 miles. It's a Cessna 172. Ha! <laughs> huh. Oh, that's Okay. Zero. Aft. Can I intercept them? Got their uh, Tomcat. It's a, I do have their Tomcat. Uh, that's a good one. I just don't have my choice in here. That's that's the only problem. Man. I can't fly if I don't have a choice in. <laughs> like, I can plug in a, a, a gamepad, but I, it's just not going to be the same, you know? Yeah. One zero bingo fuel. There he is. That's him again.
He's on a left base. Yeah. Let's see if anyone else is down here. Burn up a little bit more gas. I get some gas. Do one more uh, combat air patrol, and I call that screen. I we don't count anything else. There's probably one other player in here. I don't see him. He's not down there. <coughs> I think when I get my desktop back up here, I'll start flying. Um, my um, MDG stuff again. Yeah, that would be uh, be fun. And yeah, watching it's, that, it's but. very, it's very uh, checklist driven. It's nice. Oh. That's what I mean by yeah, FSX being like the. And this would include D3D, but the uh, Walmart of flight sims and that's that respect, like you can do. You know, it has a pretty detailed fighter jet, the Superbug, Aerosol Tomcat, you know, the... It, it's... It, it has a lot of variety from that all the way to PMDG, you know. Mm -hmm. It's going to be cutting it a little bit close, but we do, uh, we can make it. Oh, dang. Huh. The version 3 of uh, the F-14X is P3D only now. Huh. I wonder if you can share the cockpit in that thing. Yeah, you can. Uh, in P3E? Because you can't in FSX. It's, uh... Well, that's actually getting released at the DCS pretty soon, the A and B version. Huh. Yeah, like a heat blur one or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and the Joker is actually pretty, pretty spot on, dude. There's, there he is. He's on the land. <coughs> Where's the paper that you're supposed to have? <laughs> uh huh. You're supposed to have paper right now. Why do you have your book down? I'm <laughs> gonna drag it on the runway. Yeah, you're yawning all the place. There you go. Definitely drug. Yeah. Did it break? No, no, we're, we're fine. As long as it's not like a hard impact or anything. You can drag your ass along the deck, which is what I do a lot of times. So that is a hook. So that's why I put the hook down. <laughs> I don't think the maintenance part I like it a lot. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go over and uh what say? What's the same master caution for? Bingo? Ah uh, bingo, yeah. I just had to do a bingo check on uh sixteen today. Huh. Get gas in the tank. I think you got gas in the tank. I still like Dino's F 14 the, the, the bomb cat, like for real. <laughs> <laughs> But you can still put bombs on the Aerosoft one. Uh, uh, it's a, the tanks don't like get the Aerosoft the one is a lot more. You gotta learn, you really learn it, I guess, to get good with it. Whoa, mm -hmm. what am I doing to ray gun it? My buddy over there. There we go.
sure is uh your rogue is out. Any day now you're gonna start that left turn. Oh shoot, that's actually gonna be a while. There's a, there's a ship right there. Yeah, I, I like to drag my tail hook in defiance across the runway sometimes like that. Every now and then when the horizontal stabs drag is a little bit too, but no biggie. <laughs> it hasn't killed me yet. From it. You can also uh, drag them across the water. It's a lot safer to do that. Which is safe, nose cold, looking for uh, 15k. Get my uh, probe out. Start getting my drink on. I kind of want to get the lightning just to mess with you one time. Uh -huh. See how you, how you aggressed it on lightning. Oh, the re one zero is received fuel. Because the, uh, F, uh, the F5 lightning is a uh, interceptor. Yeah. I think it, has, it shares a lot of history with the Hornet. British. The You're talking about the Northrop F5 flight, right? No, 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 no. Oh. The F5 is. Uh, oh, you okay? Like the electric flight, I think. Yeah. English yeah. electric. Yeah. Okay. I think that would have been connection from the outside. Because I think you would. You would not be able to catch it. It's, it's like a Mach 2 fighter easy. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it's just like fighting the Tomcat in this game. Like, 
if the Tomcat turns with you, the Tomcat's screwed, you know, against the Super Hornet, but... But if it boom zooms, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it doesn't... It, you're not necessarily fucked, but it can get away, you know. Mm -hmm. like, it has the ability to uh, get away pretty easily. Darn, he's leveled out now. Don't count no more. I don't think this guy's tack back either. Here, the guy in the Cessna 172. <laughs> like a thousand pound bombs on each wing, it's like, Jesus. <clears throat> I also want to get the Saber. Well, the Super Saber. That'd be fun. Ultra Hog. No, it's the Hog, Super Hog, Ultra Hog, and the Lord Hog. Three more minutes on the hose. Are you going to be too heavy to uh, uh, land on the boat again? Not after I uh, burn it off. You want to go burn it to the boat? Uh, well, I mean, we're, we're pretty close to the boat. I was going to burn it back to the uh, airport and uh, investigate any other airplanes flying around there again. So I should burn it using burners at low altitude. We can get rid of it pretty quick. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Dino put out a new update for his F-35 today, just as a heads up. Oh, freeware one? I don't know if it's freeware. <clears throat> I think he's got a uh, tool. Mr. Costa has left, left the game. Darn it. This heavy though, yes. I can't really do like, too much inverted stuff, or it wouldn't look good. Right. So, <coughs> this is for the payware version. Uh, here's the PBR update for the F35 package in order to implement this. I had rebuilt the source models as they had been lost to a ransomware attack years ago. Quite a big work, and a lot of things have been redone. Still, <coughs> it looks much better now, and it was worth it. However, please be aware there's some minor bugs or glitches that may be present. Model files are compiled, compiled with P3DB 4.4 tools, so they cannot be used in FSX or prior versions of P3D. However, also included a non PBR model variants for those who prefer them. <coughs> they should provide slightly better frame rates and lower memory consumption. <coughs> but, you know, decided compiling the model for P3DB 4 also made that some graphical glitches were fixed. Okay. Initially, I thought this would be a 
baseline for version 4.0, given that the aircraft functionalities are pretty much the same as the previous iterations, and I thought it was, a, it was unfair to make a new full price version or even a paid update. However, supporting different variants and options is quickly becoming a possible demand. From now, so from now on, on this project, it will be only updated to P3D 4.4. <coughs> Zavo Launchers joined the game. Or that's a tank crew member. <coughs> uh, someone named Zavo Launcher has joined the game. Oh. Uh, funny name. Bad Dog has uh, joined the game as well. <coughs> No, uh, no spikes, so yeah. Zero has top off and it's backing out. Investigate the airport. Go ahead and turn on our radar again. Ah, save a launcher left. Darn. That was on the way over. Sounded almost like a tack pack name. Probably wasn't though, but by the airport and see what's down there. Start getting a visual here in a second and going at the airport. Okay, we got a 737 on the ground. We can always run an intercept on him. Have to salute before you hit the cat. 
Like, it, it's something you have to do before you take off. <clears throat> Did you know that? I think, uh, I think Aerosoft had something like that. I don't think so. Uh, there's, there's quite a few complexities that they added, I know, just for the catapult launch. I wouldn't know a whole lot about it, I just fly the Iranian Tomcat. Is Dino's stuff still kind of funky? Uh, the uh, Typhoon? Oh yeah. Still funky? I think so. There. It's only 25 euros, so not too bad. And I like I like supporting Dino. Yeah. I've actually talked to him a couple times. He's actually a pretty cool to uh, talk to and work with. Because he actually was going to let me use the, <coughs> the stuff for his radar package, mm. like the touchscreen stuff, the 35, and put it in a D2 that I was working on. But I stopped working on it. Hey! You didn't see that? Mm, I'm sorry, I'm doing other things and stuff. Just got airborne right there. Oh, have you been looking at Star Citizen recently? Uh, it hasn't been updated, I know. It's getting close to you have a car in the Nisa 3.5. There's a uh, someone with a tie pack in here. Is there? Yeah. Are you getting buzzed? No, no, he's uh, I just saw the um, the RWR beat show up. I'm uh, I'm gonna have another school though. I'm just trying not to spook them. Or I don't want to, I'm not going to get behind them or anything. I will say this, the freaking Eurofighter can carry a lot of fucking shit. <laughs> Super Warrior can definitely carry more than what uh, VRS gives him credit for. What, what's this guy doing? There's a freaking mountain right there. I saw him descending. I didn't, I didn't know why he keep on falling. No way. Uh huh. Apparently, the. Uh Eurofighter has CFTs. What are CFTs? Form of fuel tanks. Oh. <coughs> yeah, I'm not kind of chasing quite down there. Oh, yeah. 18's got them too. Well, it's not high, for, high production yet. Oh, he just shot. What the heck, he just shot at our freaking tanker. Really? I think so. Should I shoot at him? Go for it. He shot you fucking. What's he in? Oh, 18? Yeah, I'm going to lock him though and at least give him some warning. He probably sees me now. He's right on his ass. Pretty sure he just shot at our tanker. Say friend over his name? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, you shot. 
how far away, I think it's 13 miles. Oh man. Is he at, is he at mock or no? Ah oh, shoot. That's freaking messed up my ears. Oh great. What? He just shot again. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna have to shoot at him because he's shooting at our tanker. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, he just okay. That's a hit on our tanker, so I'm gonna shoot him down. Can't be Seriously. doing that, bub. <laughs> huh? But you can't be doing that, bub. <laughs> Yeah, he's damaged. I think you might uh, attempt to land. I'd say remove the boat from underneath him. <laughs> oh. Don't um. shoot the tanker. Stupid. <laughs> well, they, they, well, well, at least to capture the enemy pilot, I guess. And the tanker looks like it had plenty of time to bail out. So. That's correcting my views. I was going to try to swap the view to uh, the tanker. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, he's uh, he's trying to land, so we'll, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, we might we might have actually captured someone. He needs to drop his hook though. He really needs to drop his hook. God, it's freaking too long. Uh huh? Too loud of music for you. Where is he? I reclined way too much here. How did you change? There he is. Hopefully he drops his hook at some point. This is up right now. This time you'll show count the real one zero possibly splash on that no all right he's getting airborne again so I was bringing I saw him bringing his nose up oh all right, the real one zero splash my bandit Hopefully, we'll be able to recover the pilot. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll send uh, 
Oh. Rib boats out for him. I don't think, you know, we're getting we to re attack you. I bet you didn't hit the water that hard. I, uh, it's probably definitely survivable. But I do need to I go ahead and get aboard myself, I think. Middle of the ocean, there was like a weird looking island or something. Talent the re one zero is a tuck under break. You know, it's Ronald Reagan. The re one zero is break. I wonder if everybody is making like kind of like th uh, throwing out the idea of doing like a bomber, like a legit bomber. Like a B-52? That would be that pretty badass. Tell that would lag out that the server so freaking fast, dude. Uh -huh. funny. That would lag a server out so fast. I don't know, I, not if it's made right, you know? I'm just now starting it's, to get That's not going to work in freaking 600 feet. FSX, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> going to run out of memory because all the fucking bombs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Steam Edition is actually a lot better with that. It's not the real one zero that the Nike run of all 8.2. Because I remember lagging out the game with my F4s. But I go in for a carpet run. That was a bizarre glitch I was getting there. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that was a rough one. Crap, but four wire. Four wire. I'm getting Jesus. a little bit distracted and elated from that uh, weird looking glitch. But for all I know, my game is about to crash. But, yeah, appreciate anyone tuning in. Um, that was a pretty good flight, I think. Actually, before we uh, end it though, I'm going to exit out of the server for right now. We'll uh, look at the tack view and see what all happened there. We'll, uh, so put this filter back on. Turns out we didn't really need it. But yeah, that was a fun little solo flight. Um, here we go. <coughs> Uh, here we are, we're getting the airborne, there's our harm missiles that we dropped, shot some, uh, this is all the air to ground stuff. Oh, let's take a look at our accuracy though. Right, so there is a target. There is a two remaining launchers right there, so I'm going for this one. There's some hits. That last one. This is why I wish Tech View had uh, terrain. I shot a. Uh, let's see, 22 rounds, and hit it uh, 11 times. So half 50 percent of my rounds that I shot on that run hit. That's according to Tech View. I think I actually released more, but at least at that ratio, I think that they hit. We'll take a look at this one. Looks like our first, yeah, shot 22 times again on that one. And 20 hits out of that uh, burst. So that's that's pretty good accuracy. That's over 95% accuracy. <laughs> and I went back around one more time and we'll take a look at uh Uh, yeah, I think that's when uh, that target was destroyed. Let's see, we took back off. 
flew over here with the Cessna. That's not terrible. We're not perfectly even on the last two snaps, but there's where the uh, drug our tail past them. Uh, hook down. And a uh, high alpha. We got airborne again. So you went over to the tanker for a bit. Here. Yeah, there's that initial tanking. <laughs> Did a few inverts with them. All right, here's uh, here's our bandit. We weren't totally sure what he was up to. So let's see here. We'll take a look at his AIM-120 that he shoots first. <clears throat> I could have saved the tanker had I shot him right after he shot the AIM-120 because it looks like that one never hit. Yeah, so there's the tanker right up shoot. there. What's up? I told you to shoot. Yeah. I want to uh, give him the benefit of the doubt. It's, a, it's happened before where we've shot and then... <laughs> The guy turned out not to be hostile or something, you know. It tears me up inside when we do that. <laughs> yeah, there goes his aim 120. That one did not make it to the tanker. It fell short, it looks like. <clears throat> it lost there a lot of energy because it was nine. climbing. Yeah, it lost a lot of energy because it was climbing. Yeah. If he was higher, I would have made it yeah. well lofted. This one was already decelerating quite a bit, but that wasn't hit. There goes the tanker. So that's when I move into a uh, trail position on him. He didn't really maneuver a whole lot after it. I mean, he went into a left turn, but I'm not sure if he was totally sure. Who was it? Bad Doug. Let's, let's see who it was. I didn't even know who it was. Bad Doug. <laughs> I mean, that's that's why his name is that. There we go. We shot uh, three rounds, hit him two times. That was enough. So we got him with about 66% of our gun rounds. As you, you can see, that's all we shot. You know, it was just a quick little boop. Let's see, this is him. Let's be on the six. And here he comes to try to land. He boltered on there, not really boltered, but he didn't have his hook down from what we could see. He probably would have caught something if he had, had his hook down. That's where I thought he was gonna go into the water. I don't think he had enough power to recover from it, though. Let's see, was it uh, 120, 118? Yeah, his total airspeed's dropping still. And he's banking too hard. Oh, yeah, he can't recover from that. <coughs> yep, there it goes. I believe I just did a tuck under brake right afterwards. But I had a kind of a rough landing myself, though. Not quite as hard, I don't think. But yeah, I was I was high on the AOA. I think it, it was. Um, Were you on the needles? 
Oh, no, I don't use those for uh, case under coveries. But yeah, I think that's a, I'm going to call it a stream there. Appreciate anyone tuning in. Um, yeah, we'll try to throw something up tomorrow if we got the time for it. But uh, that was a pretty fun little solo flight that we had there. But uh, as always, hope everyone has a good rest of your weekend and uh, happy flying until next time.